Regal Cinema is announcing plans to reopen theaters starting April 2nd. This morning, parent company Cineworld reported a $3 billion loss for last year and a new fundraising effort to push it through this reopening phase. Cineworld CEO Mookie Gradinger joins us now. Uh, Mookie, good to have you this morning. I, 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 the reopening begins. Obviously, the losses were tremendous. You managed through it. How long until you actually sort of see yourself hitting profitability again at the company? I believe that in second half of 2021, we will show already profitability. Of course, it will not probably cover the losses that we are having on the first four months of uh, uh, 2021. But things are turning around. We see a great success with the vaccination process in the U.S., in the U.K., being our two big markets. And uh, uh, we are optimistic. Opening will take some time, you know, it will not go over one day, it will not be positive over one day. But I guess that as we reach towards July and August, uh, uh, numbers will be already uh, much, much better. And on the fourth quarter, once James Bond is coming out, The Matrix is coming out and many other movies, I believe that we will be already profitable. And 2022... If there are no big surprises, and after the year we had, we need to be careful. So I have to say, with no surprises, 2022 is not going to be in a big way different than 2019. I think the lineup there is good, and uh, we have all the reasons to believe that we will have a very good year. Yeah. Uh, well, it's one thing to reopen movie theaters, which is great. It's another thing to actually get people to feel comfortable going. And to your point, I guess, it's going to take some time. But you do believe that people will return, again, you just said it, to 2019 levels. You think behaviors won't have changed? Yeah, I think it's changed. I think that we don't need to look so far. You know, maybe it's far. but it's. Uh, and if we look at China, that three weeks ago had the biggest opening movie in one territory ever, took the crown from Avenger, a, a Chinese movie, if we look at Japan, three months ago, a Japanese movie had the biggest opening ever in Japan. We see that once, as you said, once people feel comfortable, the numbers are coming back. People don't want to stay at home. We All of us have been at home now for a year. People want to go out. People want to see other people. And no one, no one can compare the experience of seeing a good movie was surrounded with two or three hundred people around you than to see it alone in your living room. So I, I think people will go back, people will come and see the movies on the big screen, and we are optimistic, you know. It's. Uh yeah. Mookie, it's Morgan. Uh, I, I realize you're, you're poised to do these reopenings here in the U.S. In, in the coming weeks, or I guess really next week. Um, meantime, certainly from an investor standpoint, there's a lot of focus on renewed restrictions or uh, extended restrictions in, in parts of Europe right now. Um, you do have some business there. What are you seeing? How concerning is it? So I would say like this. Europe, uh, on the side of the U.K., uh, and the U.K. is doing amazingly well. Almost 30 million people have been vaccinated. Uh, I think the UK that announced that we will open 17th of May is on track. Maybe we even be allowed to open a bit early. Europe is in a different situation and we have uh, seven territories in Central Europe and uh, there the situation is not that good. Uh, but I believe that with the bigger quantities of vaccinations that are getting now, uh, we will be there something be in May, maybe early June. And our last but not least, you know, is our hometown in Israel. Uh, you are very well that we are doing very well with the vaccinations. We need the U.S. to open in order to have new product also for here. Nobody is producing movies especially for Israel. But, uh, uh, but we are in a good shape there. So I think <clears throat> if we, April is for the U.S., May is the U.K., Second half of May is probably Central Europe, and Israel will be probably something in the late April or uh, early May. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.